Hello everyone, this is Prasenjit Ghosh and welcome to the Masterful Master. Today we'll continue with the history of American literature. Now in part 1 of the history of American literature, we covered the first four periods of the history of American literature. We started from the Native American period, followed by the colonial period, then came the revolutionary period and finally we discussed the romantic period that is romanticism which started from 1820 till 1870. In part 2 of this video that is history of American literature, we will be covering the rest of the periods. We will start with the realism and naturalism which started from uh, 1870 and stretched up till 1910. Followed by the modernist period that uh, started from 1910 and stretched up till 1945. Now after 1945 till present was the contemporary period. So let's not waste any more time and start the video. Romantic writers celebrated individualism, nature, imagination, creativity, emotions but during the realistic period, writers started rejecting romanticism. Realistic writers turned to real life to articulate the tensions and complex events of the time rather than focusing or idealizing people or places. The realistic period included the civil war, industrial inventions and extensive westward expansion. There was portrayal of life as accurately as possible and also focused on ordinary people suffering from the harsh realities of everyday life. Transitional writers such as Walt Whitman and Emily Dickinson were a part of transition between transcendentalism and realism incorporating both views in their works. Walt Whitman was born in 1819 and died in 1892. He was known as the father of free verse. Some of his works include Franklin Events which was published in the year 1842. It's a novel. Now uh, he also wrote a poetry collection which was known as Leaves of Grass which was published in 1855. He also wrote Democratic Vistas, which was published in 1871. Some of his poems in the poetry collection Leaves of Grass include Song of Myself, I Sing the Body Electric, Out of the Cradle Endlessly Rocking, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed, Calamus, O Captain, My Captain. Emily Dickinson was born in 1830 and she died in 1886. She was called as the nun of Amherst. Themes which was taken up by Emily Dickinson were sense of loneliness, realistic images and death. Some of her poems include Because I could not stop for death, Hope is the thing with feathers, Soul selects her own society, I tasted a liquor never brewed, I died for beauty, I felt a funeral in my brain and a bird came down the walk. Some of the major realistic writers were Mark Twain, William Dean Howells, Henry James and Frederick Douglass. Samuel Langhorne Clemens, known by his pen name Mark Twain, was born in 1835 and he died in 1910. He was lauded as the great humorist. William Faulkner called him the father of American literature. He is considered as the first writer who wrote in the school of realism. William Dean Howells called Mark Twain as the Lincoln of a language. The term Gilded Age was termed by Mark Twain. Some of his notable works are The Adventure of Tom Sawyer, Life on the Mississippi and The Adventures of the Huckleberry Finn. The Rise of Silas Lapam by William Dean Howells became his best known work. He also wrote A Traveller from Altruria. Daisy Miller by Henry James is considered a masterpiece of American realism. Frederick Douglass wrote several autobiographies describing his experience as a slave in his work Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. He also wrote My Bondage, My Freedom. Now, naturalism was a branch of realism. Like realism, it depicted real people in real situation. But naturalists also believed in forces larger than individual like nature, fate and heredity. Naturalism often included themes of survival, determinism and violence. 
John Steinbeck was not a dedicated student of American naturalism. Yet his themes and methods are very closely tied to this literary movement. His major works include In Dubious Battle, Of Mice and Men, Travels with Charlie and The Grapes of Wrath. Now The Grapes of Wrath is set in Great Depression. The Great Depression was a severe worldwide economic depression in the decade preceding World War II. The crisis started in 1921 and it extended until the end of the 30s and the beginning of the 40s. Some of the major naturalistic writers include Stephen Crane. His major works include The Red Batch of Courage and Maggie a Girl of the Streets. Jack London wrote The Call of the Wind. Theodore Dreiser wrote An American Tragedy. Kate Chopping wrote The Awakening. The time period between World War I and World War II started the modernist era. Emphasis was on the bold experimentation in style and form, which generally reflected the fragmentation of society. Traditional themes and subjects were rejected. Interest was in the inner working of the human mind. There was sense of disillusionment and loss of faith in the American dream. Now what is an American dream? Well, the American dream is the belief that anyone, regardless of where they were born or what class they were born into, can attain success in a society where upward mobility is possible for everyone. It's the ideal by which equality of opportunity is available to any American, allowing the highest aspiration and goals to be achieved. Following are the list of modernist writers. We have T.S. Eliot, Ezra Pound, Wallace Stevens, William Faulkner, James Joyce, H.D. that is uh, Hilda Doolittle, William Carlos Williams, Robert Frost, Marianne Moore, Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Susan Glaspell, Egun O'Neill, Tennessee Williams, Thornton Wilder and E.E. E. Cummings. Some of the modernist writers such as F. Scott Fitzgerald skewered the American dream in The Great Gatsby. T.S. Eliot wrote The Wasteland which was a quintessential modernist poem which was published in the year 1922. Some of the major works of William Faulkner are The Sound and the Fury which was published in the year 1929 and As I Lay Dying which was published in the year 1930. Ernest Hemingway's early novels, The Sun Also Rises, which was published in the year 1926, and A Farewell to the Arms articulated the disillusionment of the lost generation. Now what does lost generation mean? Lost generation refers to the generation of people who reached adulthood during or immediately following World War I. They were disillusioned by the horrors of war. They rejected the traditions of the old generation. Their struggles were characterized in the works of a group of famous American authors and poets including Ernest Hemingway, Gertrude Stein, F. Scott Fitzgerald and T.S. Eliot. Well, common traits of the lost generation included distorted vision of the American dream and gender confusion. The contemporary period or the postmodernism began after World War II. Postmodernism denied the application of logical thinking. Postmodernism approach was based on subjectivity. Literature written by African American during the contemporary period was shaped in many ways by Richard Wright, whose biography Black Boy was published in 1945. Other black writers working from the 1950s through the 1970s wrestled with the desire to escape an unjust society and to change it. Ralph Ellison's novel Invisible Man published in 1952 tells the story of an unnamed black man adrift in and ignored by America. James Baldwin wrote essays, novels and plays on race and sexuality throughout his life but his first novel, Go Tell It on Mountain, published in 1953, was his most accomplished and influential. Toni Morrison's first novel, The Bluest Eye, published in 1970, launched a writing career that would put the lives of black women at its center. She received a Nobel Prize in 1993. 
The beat generation, also called as the beat movement, was a literary movement which was started by a group of authors whose work explored and influenced American culture and politics in post-war era. Jack Kerouac's On the Road is often considered the novel of beat generation. The beat poets won national recognition after winning against a case that had tried to declare Allen Ginsberg, Howell and other poems obscene in 1956. The core group of Beat Generation authors were Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, Neil Cassidy, Gary Sinder, William S. Burroughs, and Luncian Carr. Allen Ginsberg's How reset Americans' expectations for poetry during the second half of the 20th century and beyond. Among the important poets of this period are Anne Sexton, Sylvia Plath, Elizabeth Bishop, Donald Howe, and John Berryman. In the early decades of the contemporary period, American drama was dominated by three men, Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, and Edward Albee. Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, published in 1949, questioned the American dream through the destruction of its main character. Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire, which was published in 1947, and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, published in 1955, excavated his character's dreams and frustrations. Albee's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, published in 1962, examines the complexities of marriage of a middle-aged woman. That's all from the history of American literature. I hope the different periods of the history of American literature brought some clarity in your mind regarding the American literature. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and stay safe.